Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to be taking you guys on a tour of my new craft space. I recently decided to upgrade my craft space probably a couple of weeks ago and I whipped that bad boy into shape really quickly. So this obviously isn't the finished product. I think that I will be working on this craft space for a very long time. But I do want to show you guys where I am because a lot of you guys keep asking me about it and I do want to show you. And I just wanted to like get everything at least organized in here before I actually showed you guys. So that has taken place. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. By the way, you may want to grab a snack or something because this is probably going to be long because I am doing a whole office space craft room tour. So first of all, we have my little letter board. I got that from the Dollar General and obviously I, I had to be extra today and change it. So it just says welcome to my new office and craft space. Okay, so first up is my Calyx shelf. I purchased this from Ikea. This is one of the new additions. So I will share with you guys what's new and what's not new. To the left you see a lamp. That is not a new addition. I already have that. To the right you see a craft cart. That is not a new addition. I already have that. But this shelving unit is new. One of the things that I want to change is the cords. They're showing on either side. I want to make sure or find a way to camouflage the cords because that's a little bit annoying to me. And um, that's pretty much like one of the major changes. I also want to continue to purchase things to put inside of my little shelving units here. So you can hang this up. We live in an apartment. If I did not live in an apartment, I would probably hang up the shelf, but I don't want to do all of that here. So I'm just going to, we just sat it on the floor. So let's go ahead and do a little tour. At the top here, we have my printer. I rarely print things. Sometimes I'll print like boarding passes and stuff like that but otherwise I don't really print but I do have the printer hooked up here it is a wireless printer I've had it for years on the top I have this little tray and again I haven't really found a place for it yet so it's just sitting up there at the top next we have these little they're kind of like pin holders I mean you can you can put whatever you want inside of them but I mean I used to put pins inside of those or that's just the first thing that I think of but I don't really have a home for those really yet but that's what we have there next this is actually a jewelry holder you're supposed to put like bracelets and necklaces on this I have two of them and I got those from a store called roses I think those came from Ikea um, and my printer came from office max and then this came from I think home goods the little tray but I'll probably put like washi tape or something up <laughs> up here to be quite honest haven't figured that part out yet um, this is just a little DIY flower arrangement that I made. So Dollar Tree flowers, Dollar Tree pebbles, and Dollar Tree marbles, and a Dollar Tree vase. It's just a cute little flower arrangement. Um, the lamp is from probably Walmart. I've had it for years. The two, um, the two picture frames are new pickups from Ikea. They were like $2 a piece. We just have some of our wedding photos in there. Not our professional wedding photos, but just like iPhone wedding photos because I don't know where the professional wedding photos are outside of on the laptop. So I'll probably maybe one day replace those, but I don't know. I like the iPhone. I like the realistic feel of the photos. I don't know. The, our wedding photos, like the professional ones are really nice, but I don't know. I'm kind of... I'm kind of simple so I kind of like the way that that looks this I believe is like a Dollar Tree candle you can't even smell it <laughs> it's supposed to be oh it's supposed to be fresh linen I can't even smell it and then I have this little Virgo uh, I, I think we used to put our rings on here but you can put like whatever you want but you see they spelled practical wrong so I just hide this because that's embarrassing. I am a Virgo. My husband's a Virgo. You're probably seeing this on my birthday. If this goes up Saturday, September the 15th, that is actually my birthday and I'll probably be um, out and about. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and look at the first shelving unit. So this is a little picture from TJ Maxx, $7.99. And then I have like this little easel. I think that came from like the Dollar Tree. And I just sit that on there temporarily. Again, I don't really know um, I think I want to add some more decor up here, but 
as of right now, this is what we're working with. So this is a little candle holder from Yankee Candle that my mother-in-law, look at me, recently purchased for me or got for me. Looks like somebody bought it for $6.99 and it is the Chrome Butterfly. So I need more candles. When I get candles, one will go in there and be burning probably at all times. Another picture frame and picture. This was a set of three. There's like a medium sized one and a smaller one. It's just a little square. I think that came from Walmart. It was once black, but I spray painted all three of them white. So I'm going to find a home for all three of those at some point, but that's what we're working with right now. And then I have a little flower arrangement from Ikea. Let's see. If, ooh, I keep forgetting that I have my microphone attached up here. Let's see how much. Okay, it doesn't say how much, but this is whatever it is if you want to look it up. And again, the white shelving unit is the Calyx. There are multiple shelving units. This is the newer one. It has three columns and it was new on the website whenever I went to look it up. Over here, this is a rose gold basket that I purchased from Walmart. It came in a set of two and currently I just have some of my Erin Condren stuff inside of here. Then I have a few of my Erin Condren planners. So basically notebook, some 2019 planner, and then three 2019 planners, I think. Yeah, my new work planner. This was supposed to be my new like life planner. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Another budget planner, I mean a deluxe monthly, and then just a notebook. So let's move on to the second shelf. These are my happy planners. I have a big one, two classics, and a mini. They are used happy planners. I don't have planners just sitting around outside of the Erin Condren ones that you just saw. Well, I do have planners sitting around, but I don't keep unused planners. If I'm not going to use the planner, I like to give it away immediately. So these are all used planners, and by used, I mean I use them all, and there are no extras inside of there because I've given those all away. This is a little plastic doohickey from Ikea and I have my mini discs, my classic discs, and my expander discs. I never really got into discs when I was heavily using the Happy Planner so I don't have that many. Here is the other um, jewelry holder, a little plant that I believe came from Ikea. No, maybe Ross or TJ Maxx or something. I got it for $2.99. And then this also came from the same place. I think it's Home Goods. Actually, I think this is a Home Goods label, $3.99. This is one of my little DIYs. So Dollar Tree Pebbles or Marbles, Dollar Tree Vase, and some of my diamond pins, which I will link um, in my Amazon Etsy shop. So if you go to my Etsy shop, Amazon Etsy, <laughs> no, scratch all that. It's an Amazon shop. If you go to my Amazon shop, you will be able to see all of these pins and all of the things that I have shown you guys that came from Amazon. These are some jars. I purchased these from Ikea. These are new additions and I just have washi tape inside of them. Third shelf. This is the other basket from Walmart. It is rose gold. It matches the other one. This is a little box that you can purchase from Ikea. It fits perfectly in the Calyx shelf. And I just have a bunch of random stuff inside of here. Some extra letters for my letter board. Some stuff I need to give away. Um, stuff like that. Stuff I don't really have a home for really yet. So I just piled it all <laughs> inside of there. This is a little container for all of my accessories to make my planners cute. So basically paper clips and charms and stuff like that. And then here is a craft stack and it houses all of my washi tapes. And I have three of those. And then this is all of my washi tape and the rest is inside of those. The fourth one, this is a pray always little picture from TJ Maxx, $7.99. That's old, a lot of this stuff is old, but I'm showing you guys anyway obviously because it's a part of my room this is the new seasonal Erin Condren 
surprise box. So I think I'm going to be putting things here that I need to give away or I need to unbox or review or whatever. So that's new. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with the content. So I just have it there. And then this is just, I was trying something. I was trying to see. Um, this is a paper studio. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Floral glam glitter paper thing from I think Hobby Lobby. I was trying to see if it would fit in there because I could purchase multiples of those and kind of like spice up my shelf. But um, I don't really know that I like the way that that fits. So anyway, this is one last glimpse of my calic shelf and let's move on to the next segment of this video so over here to the left we have my makeshift backdrop this is just a white piece of fabric from walmart and i just hung it up with thumbtacks it's not hung up really well i need to if whenever i want to film there i have to like um kind of like flatten it out to get rid of the wrinkles but it works perfectly fine and then I just have two stools there so I sit on those whenever I film and I have another one in case my husband wants to ever join me on another video so this is a view of my new filming area craft space and all of that my fur came from Ross and then my studio lights I will have all of those linked on my Amazon shop those are limo studio lights I have four of them I have three up now they are turned on and then I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you guys over there and we'll kind of make our way around so this is one of the first things that you see I recently picked this up from Hobby Lobby it says find what sets your soul on fire and I thought that it was super cute this is a banner that Taylor and Betty sent to me I think it's so cute and then this is just a little arrangement that Reminds me of my mom, so I don't love it, <laughs> but I have it here because it reminds me of my mom. And then there's my trash can. It's from the Dollar Tree, and um, I only put usually like papers and stuff in there, so that's why it doesn't have to be like, you know, a legit trash can that works perfectly fine. This is my, let me turn, do I need to turn off the studio lights? I feel like this is... Let's turn down this one. Okay, beautiful. This is my sticker cart. So recently I added these little, um, I don't know what these are called. These little attachments. I used to have one, but I went ahead and purchased two more so that I could put like all of my pins, or, pins in here. So these are all of my markers, um, like random pens and pencils, and then my favorites, which are paper made flares and the tool pens and then ink joys and so those will be linked on my amazon shop as well so i do have my mild liners here and then random stickers here erin condren stickers and paper house studio recollections all of that and then these are all of my happy planner stickers um and then this is a recollections recollections cart from michael's so this is just a little magnetic to-do pad that I sometimes jot down notes on. Or I kind of have it here in case my husband needs to jot down something. These are all of my stickers in my little sticker book that I recently made. Um, a lot of this stuff, a lot of this organizational stuff, I already did videos and they are on my channel. At the bottom, these are more stickers. These are mainly for like scrapbooking because I do that sometimes and then those are like all of my Etsy kits all right <sighs> Whew, this is a lot so this is my new chair I purchased this from Wayfair it is to die and then I also purchased that little throw was well, actually a queen size throw with like gold details from Walmart and then I also purchased this office mat from Amazon these sheer curtains were purchased from Amazon, I think, way back when. And then I just have some little fairy lights. And they're battery operated. So if I just hit that battery, if I just hit this, they turn off. And then I had, I bought that Inspire whole situation from Hobby Lobby forever ago. I had to be 
like in college whenever I purchased that and so I just take it with me wherever I go because I love it okay let's do a little desk tour and I'm gonna have a seat cuz <laughs> the struggle is real so first up is all of my mother-in-law's stuff in the background because she's still with us but a picture of me and my husband and then this little blessed block that I got from Taylor this is like a candle holder and sometimes I put my drink on there and then there's a little candle that I can't really smell but whatever so this is my first desk that I purchased for my office space this is a Linman tabletop with two legs and then an Alex drawer you can actually get whatever size tabletop you want and you can get four legs you can get two Alex drawers you can get whatever you want to hold up the tabletop but this is my preferred setup over here I have this little plastic situation and it just houses all of my planners I have that plastic situation and it houses all of my pins that I normally go for whenever I am planning and then um, sticky notes and then this thing has like paper clips and stuff inside of it this is a little Virgo gang pin holder I think is a makeup brush holder that my friend purchased for me and then that's a little pin holder well I think it's a flower holder from Ikea and I just put my black pins in there so the purpose of me um, redoing my office and kind of adding another desk was so that I could sit here and plan and create and all of those things and I could work from my new area which I will show you momentarily so this is this week I just kind of leave my planner open on the current week here's my pen and then here's the kit that I use for this week which again if you're seeing this on September the 15th then it is your girl's birthday so there's that now let's go ahead and check out this so these are all of my backdrops for my pictures so they're just poster boards I have a bunch of different colors whenever I want to add a little something something to my pictures I'll just lay down the poster board put the planner over top of it snap my picture so I think for this week I did like a pink backdrop and then this one I think I did purple so they are housed here because I'm normally here when I take pictures so I already had the Alex drawer in the lemon tabletop set up but I did not have these little organizers so I picked these up from Ikea and I have some of my most used supplies so sticky notes my lighter undo my slicer staple remover hole punch stapler tape double-sided tape crayons I use a measuring tape a lot I'm not sure why <laughs> glue the second one has some more items that I sometimes reach for more office supplies the third one has almost all of my Erin Condren materials and then some of my mini hats. Oh, actually no. This has a lot of my Happy Planner materials and then all of my Erin Condren materials. So these are all of my planner materials outside of um, my stickers and like paper clips and stuff like that. This is my electronics drawer. So basically I just have, I mean, all of my electronics in here, batteries, mouse, microphones all of that good stuff and then the last one is like random stuff so there's that so let's slide on over here this is my newest um arrangement so this is a an led lamp that i purchased from walmart and then this is a little girl boss plate that I purchased from Home Goods, and I've already had that. So the rose gold, all of the rose gold stuff, I recently picked up from Amazon. So over here, I just have basically important documents and bills and such that I need to like go through. This is a desk pad that I purchased from Amazon it does not move too much and it, I think it just added a little bit of like flavor to my desk my cell phone is here one of them anyway my um, 
external hard drive rests here at all times basically this is my little fan that I normally have on when I get hot which is now but I don't want it to be <laughs> loud and annoying this is one of the trays I just have like printer paper in here currently but I'm sure I'll figure out something else to do with it I have some of my favorite pens back there and then also some sticky notes and then this little flower arrangement from Ikea and then my mouse and then my laptop <laughs> and then over here that is um, the other the fifth part of the gold rose gold desk accessories kit so we nailed that up there and then I recently picked up that picture she she created a life she loved from Hobby Lobby so this situation <laughs> came from Target I don't know what it's called but it came with the little wire thing and the little clips so I just put some birthday cards and such up there and well some sympathy cards and then a couple of pictures and then my clock came from Target as well so let me take you inside of my drawer and we'll basically be finished so here are my planner folios this is my HP sprocket this just have has random stuff in there I have a Bible back there a wallet and then our passports are back there and then over here I have two of these little containers from Ikea this just has a hair tie this is the charger to my fan because it's wireless these are like important documents this is a mouse pad that I recently picked up. I'm mainly going to use this when I'm like working hard and my wrist starts to get tired or start to hurt. But I don't really need to have that out at all times. So I do keep it here. And then another one of these little um, expander file folders. Expanding file folders for important documents. So I'm looking around. <laughs> I think that we have toured the whole office. And yeah, so the purpose of this was so that I could have like a workspace and I don't have to like move it all out the way when I'm trying to film or whatever. And I just think that it makes life so much easier, easier and I absolutely love it. So this is my craft room. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the description box. Don't forget to check out my Amazon shop because that's going to have a lot of the information that you're going to need. Again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.